Okay, um, so I'm going to talk about returning to a leadership role after a career break, which is something that I did. Um, I'll talk briefly about my story and then um, lead into some of the ways that I think that you might be able to manage yourself or offer support to your teams if anybody there wants to take a career break. Um, I worked my way up uh, over a period of about 10 years to a leadership position where I was marketing director with a global education company. I absolutely loved my job. Uh, I was thriving. I had one baby. I had a second one on the way. Uh, all was great. Um, and in the middle of my second pregnancy, I nearly lost the baby and I was hospitalized for a short while. And it caused me to have a, a reset. And uh, that was in parallel to the fact that I had also put my hand up to um, have a promotion at work. Um, and the job had gone to a colleague of mine who also had a toddler and whose wife also had a baby on the way. Uh, he got the job. I didn't. It may have been that he was very, very talented and I was less so, or it may have been that I'd hit the glass ceiling at that point. So um, it, my, my moment of reflection was, actually, I don't want to keep battling here when the most important thing to me at the moment is making sure I have a healthy baby. So after my uh, period of maternity leave, I, I chose not to go back to work. I thought I was going to take a career break of about a year, reset. It ended up being, for me, uh, almost a decade so I was out for a very long time, having got myself to a leadership position that I was loving. Um, so what are my tips for coming back into the world of work? Because uh, that's something that I managed to do. And, um, and I know that others can do it too. And uh, I want to make sure that happens. So first off, know it's okay to take time out. Don't judge yourself harshly if this is something you choose to do. And certainly don't listen to anybody else who might be judging you poorly for it. Know also that it can be incredibly positive to take time away from the world of work. When I came back, I came back with real enthusiasm, an absolutely new lease of life, total energy, wanting to conquer the world in my career. Um, I'll also add that hopefully working life is a long life for all of us now. I think we're likely to be working longer than the generation above us. Uh, it could be a 50 year or more career that we're in and a few years out in the middle of that really is neither here nor there. So give yourself a break. Don't assume that while you've been away that you haven't actually been learning. Uh, all the skills that I built up as a full time mother were ones that I'm afraid to say I use on a daily basis here dealing with colleagues and clients and, and just life. Um, prioritizing my workload, working when I'm absolutely exhausted, juggling, multitasking, all of these skills, which perhaps one doesn't recognize uh, out of the context of work, but ones that I was learning and building on when I was away from the workplace. And similarly, if you're taking a sabbatical simply to tend your garden for six months and regroup, don't, don't underestimate the brain power that's coming to you by that moment of peace that you're having and how that will feed you when you come back to work. Yes, the world of work is very likely to have moved on while you've been away, but it is possible to keep your hand in. What I ended up doing was becoming a governor of a local school. I became a uh, trustee of a local charity and both of those kept my board experience going. I also did voluntary work with um, local teenagers who are on the autistic spectrum. And I will add to any of those of you who work with highly functioning, very, very bright soul traders, you'll know that working um, with troublesome teenagers can be helpful. Um, so I, I see that uh, although the world of work has moved on, uh, I also had some skill sets that I could bring to it. Um, make sure when you come back that you get yourself trained up quickly. IT had gone through a transformation in the time that I was away and uh, I really was at sea when I came back. And it took me a little while to realize that I needed proper training. But once I got that in place, it was all plain sailing. Um, it could be that your internal comms system has moved from email to Slack to Teams to something else while you've been away. Just get yourself on top of whatever's going on internally. Ask for the training and don't be shy about asking for it. If you work for yourself, Make sure that you're investing in yourself. 
one of the things I also did was that I set myself up to begin an MBA um, because I really felt that, that I'd been out for quite a long time and I needed to get to get right back up there. Um, that was really, really challenging to do an MBA alongside coming back into a leadership role, uh, alongside working full time with three kids, all of that, but not impossible and actually far more stimulating uh, than negative to be doing that at that time. Yes, a return. Am I nearly there? Thank you, Richard. I see I've got three more points. Yes, the return to work was terrifying, um, uh, but don't underestimate that your skill sets remain in place if you're a leader. And remember, there's no stupid questions when you come back. Ask the stupid questions. Everyone will be grateful that you do. Um, I'm going to jump ahead. Uh, my last point is you took a career break because you wanted to look after yourself and experience something new or give back some in some way. That doesn't stop because you come back. Make sure you retain those things in your, in your continuing career. Um, I hope that, that's a whistle stop tour. Um, I hope that, uh, thank you for the prompt, Richard. Uh, I hope there's something in there that we can all take for ourselves or give back to our colleagues. Thank you.